welcome to Cooking with Bong General. Today I will be showing you how to make uh, tapioca pearl ball served in coconut milk. Okay, so um, let's get started. You need um, one bag of white tapioca pearl and um, per bag is two cups. Okay, and um, it does come in uh, white and uh, rainbow color. Okay. So, you know, if you want to use the rainbow color, you may use it. If you want to use the white, you may use it. Or you can mix. It's up to you if you want to have fun with it. Okay. Next, um, you want to use half a cup of yellow mung bean. You want to soak it in water for um, three to four hours. And sugar, one and a half tablespoon. Salt one quarter teaspoon and this is the uh, filling okay and I'm going to show you how to make um, the filling and you need one can of coconut milk this is a 19 uh, floor an ounce can 560 milliliter two cups of water and half a cup of sugar you may use uh, white sugar or um, uh, palm sugar, okay, and palm sugar tastes really really good too and salt um, half a teaspoon You need some white sesame seed And I'm going to show you how to roast it later and you need a uh, One big half piece of ginger and you want to pound it just like this Okay, and I'm going to show you what to do with that too um, next, um, I'm going to show you how to boil the uh, yellow mung bean and turn it into a piece. Next, you want to um, boil four cups of water and um, boil mung bean until it's become very dry and then you're going to turn it into a piece. After half an hour, you should see a thick paste, mung bean paste like this, okay? And you are ready to add the sugar and the salt. After you add the sugar and the salt, and continue to stir it for another three to four minutes. After four minutes, go ahead and um, put it on a plate and spread it out and cool it down. Next, Pour your two cups of tapioca pearls into a mixing bowl and have a boiling water and we're gonna mix it. Now when you pour hot water, pour a little bit at a time okay and um, start mixing it until our uh, tapioca pearl stick together so at this time um, use your finger to um, press it down just like this okay um, be careful it is really really hot um, so uh, use your uh, judgment okay and um, you may wear gloves if you want to, but it's, it's very sticky. So I'm going to start mixing this just like this for about two to three minutes. After mix your dough and uh, 
uh, excuse me, after you mix your tapioca and the tapioca stick together, have uh, some water in a separate bowl. Okay, wash your hand just a little bit. Oh, I mean, wet your hand. Okay, pick some up. The side of a golf ball. Spread, press the dough, just like this. Okay, and the beans, okay, when the bean is cooled down, bake into a, a, a ball side like this, okay? Um, I mean, the side is up to you, okay? Put it right in the middle and start closing. Okay. It's, it's, it's a very dirty job, but it's okay, you know? Press it so when you boil, it does not um, come apart. Okay, after you're done, just press it down just a little bit, okay? It doesn't have to be like round perfect, just like this, okay? So I'm gonna do another one. Just like that. Um, continue. Um, do it just like that until you're done. Okay. Once you're done, I mean, excuse me. When I'm done, um, I'm gonna show you what to do next. Next, when you're done rolling the uh, ball, get a pot and uh, boil uh, water, and you're gonna boil it for 40 minutes. <coughs> Okay, now uh, when you um, put the um, tapioca balls into the hot water, make sure the fire that you're using, the heat, uh, low, low heat, okay? And cover it up. And periodically come and check on it and stir it to make sure that um, it's not stick to the bottom of the pot, okay? And as you can see, these uh, rainbow colors I'm using it. Uh, I'm using them to garnish my um, dessert. For 40 minutes. Go ahead and turn off the heat. Scoop it out and drop it into cold water. Next, we're gonna prepare the um, coconut um, sauce. Okay, you want to bring your two cups of water to a boil, and add the ginger, add the salt, and add the sugar, and then we're gonna add the coconut milk. So you pour the coconut in, bring it to a boil and turn off the heat and very important, make sure you taste it, okay, make sure it's sweet enough and make sure you have to write some um, salt in it, okay, before you're serving. Next, uh, heat up your scallop on uh, low heat and roast the um, sesame seed until uh, you see a uh, uh, golden brown or you hear popping.
Okay, it is uh, golden brown and go ahead and turn off your uh, heat. Next, um, after you roast the um, sesame seed, uh, you want to pound it for 10 to 15 seconds. Okay, here it is, the uh, finished um, products. Um, tapioca pearl ball served in coconut milk. It's ready. Um, came out very beautiful and I have some of the rainbow color for garnishing. Yeah. Um, so um, when you, um, you know, pick it out from uh, uh, hot water and put it in cold water, leave it in cold water for five minutes. After that, scoop it out and toss it into the coconut milk and ready to serve. Okay, um, here it is, the uh, finished um, product, um, coconut, excuse me, it's a tapioca pearl ball in, served in coconut milk. It smells so good, it's very delicious, and I have a full bowl. Yeah, so uh, it's time for me to eat. Uh, before I eat, I just want to say thank you so much uh, for your support, and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more amazing foods and dessert. Thank you. It is time. So, um, when you eat this, okay, you have to have um, sesame, okay, to uh, sprinkle onto the um, ball. And you don't have to eat sesame if you don't want to. Yeah. Okay. Mm. It's very delicious.